Welcome to the finale of Classroom of the Elite. And in this channel, if there's a finale of an anime episode, we suit up as tradition. However, still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a fucking job. Let's continue. She's down! Susan is down! Who showed up? It has to be Anna Koji. If it isn't, I'm gonna feel like such a fucking idiot. Ibuki, please. The card, right? Anna Koji told you to get it, right? Please, tell me. Please, please. Don't fuck. We're going to the spot that... I know Koji dug that spot up, right? He dug that spot up. And he was smirking. I remember in the previous episodes. Wait, but timeline wise, you s why is Ayano Koji not here yet? Did he plant this? Ayano Koji's voice. Who ordered you? It has to be Ayano Koji. What do you mean? No, no, no. Don't. No, no. No, 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 no. But we saw it! No, 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 In the previous episode, Saka and Agi dropped that, that's fine. Okay, I'm still doubling down. I don't know you ordered her, but this is double play. Now it's making the think like they're communicating that way, but no, 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 no. I don't know did it, right? Right? It's bro what do you mean? But previous episode, when you knocked his knee out, somebody showed up and it's like, and you communicated at that point. It has to be out of Koji, right? It ha yeah, why would he be here now, right? No, 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 no. I'm still fucking doubling down on my belief that it was him telling Ibuki to get the card. She was behind the fire. She's be I'm not sure about the pantsu. Maybe that too. But for sure. For sure, Ayanokoji ordered Ibuki to do it. And he's gonna feign ignorance here right now, still. Because, like, you, you know what's even more convincing is that when she was. When 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 uh, when Horikita told Ayano Koji, right, I lost a card or something, he said that must have been very embarrassing for her or something, right? It's it's almost as if he was kind of sorry for making her put into this position. Why did they skip the scene and the outro and the previous episode of somebody showing? Because it's gotta rise up to Manamu's expectations. Fuck your brother, man. She doesn't give a shit about you. Yeah. What 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 what, what, what then? He are he like I don't think he cares about you that much. You're responsible for... No, damn, Susan is like so down. This is the most vulnerable we've ever seen. I don't have any friends like... Oh. What's she doing? Checking her pulse? Do you think Ayano Koji is making Susan feel like this? Fight with another and remember what Manabu said. Do not mistake isolation for independence. Ayano Koji's here. Oh, he's a pretty kind person. Ayano Koji has said that to other characters like... But it was him, right? He fucking planned all this, right? Why? What could be the case? And why did the outro ep- Baldi was not there at the end of the episode, last episode, when somebody showed up. And Ibuki and him was like, I did it for you or something, right? I, I, as an order or something, some bullshit, some, something like that, right? They skip that scene here, and they immediately go to Baldi and her talking, communicating. So the leader is on the card. If they have that, we can't switch the leader, I'm gonna guess. Therefore, we're kind of locked in in this instance. But what if it was a fake card? Kirata is so down. I wonder how Ayanokoji thinks about this. Like, bro, I'm kind of- <laughs> I'm sorry for fucking everything up, but don't worry. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> right? Something like that? Unless, test final day. What? Did he tell Hirata the secret there? Okay, we're learning the leaders. But does it hurt? If, what if you wrong guess? What's the- is there a penalty for wrong guess? Ah, 50 points! So, A class is gonna get fucked because I guarantee you, some- if, if not for a fake card or a fake leader to bait them out, there has to be a deliberate issue of them- us baiting them out. A class will say, oh, D class leader is this? Wrong. Only for a deduction of 50 points though. How about multiple deductions? Can they keep guessing? Hmm. With Sakai and Agi not here, with Baldi in charge, is Baldi gonna slip up? Hmm. <laughs> They're just fucking on vacation. Okay. Oh, Ryuan! Where were you? What are you? What the fuck? Why are you all dirty up? I thought you were partying and you went home, but why do you look like he grew up facially? <laughs> It looks pretty- he looks way better this way. Still a piece of shit. But design wise, come on, he's pretty cool. What were you doing? Yeah? What? This is suddenly- What's going on? What's going on? Flashback test, day one, when Koenji was going off. So this is the day so they said- he, 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 to, he told them, right? He's like, I hate heartbreak. He said, know your place, but at, during that discussion, they were having this too. Contract with class, a contract. Oh? But, in exchange, 
There's too many fucking things. I don't know what to read. There's... <laughs> Showing the proof, the cards. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Rewin's all on board. Well, an alliance only lasts until you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so this is where Ibuki got hurt. I need to really hate me if you. Oh, why just stop? You can't fool anyone else. So is it. No, it can't be that simple. No, no, no. Really? Really? Ibuki was really just a fucking double agent on behalf of Ryuin? Really? I mean, this is interesting, I guess, but I didn't want Ibuki to be the culprit, but this is a different version of being a culprit. Now, if it's actually a double agent, that's an extra layer. Yeah, just fucking chill. He's just big chill in here. Kaneda was also part of the plan. Ryuin stayed. What were you doing? You just fucking camped out by yourself? Just hiding your identity? For what reason? Who hates Katsuragi? Baldi? Whose face is that? Class A's leader. Who is- Who is this? It's not Ayano Koji, right? I, I- Too many things are going on, fuck! I'm not smart enough to fucking keep track of everything that's going on. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Outbaited. Outsmarted. I'll take it. I admit my mistakes. I've never said I'm a smart person. I was trying my best, but fuck, Ryun got me. But Ayano Koji has to be one step ahead, right? Ayano Koji has to be one step ahead of everybody here, right? No, I'm not- I'm disappointed that I guessed wrong. The story-wise, it's outsmarting me. It's outsmarting- yeah. Perfect, let's keep going. This motherfucker. The lawyer dude? The teacher guy? <laughs> yes. Class leader declaration form, okay? Uh, we have the information. <laughs> Baldi has it too. But at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. D. But was it Suzune the entire time? What if it was fake? I don't know. You gotta respect Ryuin here. I thought he was just a pretty boy that never did, but like, determinate, like, he fucking put in the work here, right? I was confused because like, you talk so big, but you haven't shown me anything. This, he committed. Fucking Wilderman by himself. Oh, so many calculations. I can't fucking keep up with this, man. Through the contract, they diminished the amount that they were uh, reduced, right? But C got a lot of points. I wonder if it'll be that simple, though. Will it be that simple? Now, this is genius by him, but... Then he gets fucked. He gets mind-blown by Ayana Koji, right? That has to be something like that, right? Coming in last. Huh? You got- dude, did she get baited the- So- Third place is Class A. Class B! Class B! Class B. <laughs> but how? How? Explain yourself! Everybody's like... You know? Okay, I, th I thought Kushida was making much reaction, but... Look at everyone's face! Well, it's kind of hard to tell. But what did Ayano Koji tell Hirata, though? Even each knows he's fucking beyond the build, but... Hirata kind of seems like he knew. He's sighing. Because Ayano Koji told him something. Season you all got played by Ayano Koji. But how? But how? But how? But how? The wrong leaders. It's, it's a simple... It's a simple matter of Koenji! <laughs> Buddy, you fucked everyone here at Vampire, so we can't say welcome back. Hey, but it all worked out, right? Okay, you were fucking laughing looking at the moon when you went back on that episode. <laughs> hey! He has never dried in his life. He has never wiped himself down. He air dries, remember. Susanne. How? 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 What the fuck is going on here? What the actual fuck is going on here? Sakayanagi. You expected Class D to go up to first? But do you know if the res- No, 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 the results are- f You understand the results, right? Yeah, yeah. Baldi's getting all the fucking- all the blame is on Baldi. Hashimoto, a new character that I don't really know. She was in with Ryuen. Another. To fuck over Katsuragi? To put his own team down under? So Sakayanagi can come out on top rather than Baldi having a leadership jointly? I, I don't. I, I don't know. 2.6 mil points still! How does that make sense? By what? First place? The right to join the class you want. The right to- Imagine if Ichinose comes to join class D, which would be- 
<laughs> I love Albert, to be honest. Yeah, you figured out how Anakoji did it? Damn! Albert's got that service, a nice little... <laughs> He's just wiping it all... <laughs> Why? That's right, the leader was faked out by who though? Susan, they had the card. You were baited the entire time, you were never the leader. So fake card? But the card, so did you have a duplicate card? It was you, but why? You swapped the card. Where would you even get a duplicate card from? What was the reason? What did you get that bailed out? She's sick. Oh, okay, so it wasn't a duplicate card. It was just... So what? Was it your plan to get Horikita sick the entire time? <laughs> you you planned her to fucking worsen her health the entire time? No, that's not smart enough. No, that's not enough. You have more, right? Okay, so that night when he went to the bag, he broke it. Okay, okay. So I just waited until you were so sick that I made you challenge Ibuki. <laughs> <laughs> you feel sucker of the email address? Oh, Marikita! That makes a lot more sense. Okay, the Marikita scene makes a lot more sense. Okay, he made Ibuki bait. Okay, he made Ibuki steal all this shit. The arson, right? What was the point of the arson? Just to, or, so that you could just have more room to play around? I don't, I don't know what the. So he played Ibuki like a fucking T, okay. Although, aside from the duplicate card, like, Horikita being sick, didn't expect that. I forgot about the exception rule, right, of changing leaders at the end. Mm -hmm. No, it's too obvious. He fucking flashed it. Like, exactly. It was way too- He fucking said, you better be careful, right? He literally said it. You better- you gotta be very careful of hiding the leader. Fucking flashes his card, like, really, dude? Like, come on. Like that! You really think that you're the leader of here? No, you're not. I'm still mind blown by Ryuin's play though. How did you know he was in the island? Radio. Where was he talking to? Who was he talking to? Right? Ibuki at the radio. That's why he smiled when he dug up, right? He had a little smirk. Mm, that's how he knew that they were in contact. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because we definitely saw Anakoji dig up that hill and uh, that hole and smirked, right? Yeah, Clathy was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. We were pretty chill with each other. To the point where she's saying, she's kind of hinting. Hey, if you have enough points, you can join whatever team you want, what class you want. Wouldn't it be interesting if each other joined us? You did. You baited fucking everybody. Well, we had a promise. Didn't we promise that I'll get you there? What is it that drives him? What is his goals? Like, does he have any goals? Conveniently just fucking cuts off when we're about to get to his motivations. Oh yeah, just put all the credit on Horikita, yeah? No one will fucking know. I wonder if Hirata knows. If Aonokoji also lied to Hirata saying, hey, Susan did all this, or, you know, he's saying, hey, come on, I did all this, but let, like, come on, give the credit to Susan, that kind of deal? Now you're gonna get more friends, Susan. Come on! Total friendship! More popular than you! No, I'm kidding. Oh! Oh! That look again! Yeah, she shows, she shows her true self always on display. Yeah, maybe you hit yourself, maybe you're projecting your insecurities on like that. Most I know, Koji, as am I! What are you hiding? What are you hiding? Obviously, the fucking fucked up childhood of growing up in like a science lab where other kids were probably being called as they couldn't perform, and he was probably like the last specimen left, but... Probably. What do you mean, don't know? That's not a no! That's not a no! Kushida, you're so... I, I don't know how to gauge you. You were... Meet me in the theater. Is that the teacher? I couldn't recognize the name. Is that the teacher? Probably. We started this arc with in the, in, in the theater. And then we're ending. So she recognizes... I don't know, Kushida did all this. Yeah, which man was that? That was brought up during the beginning of this arc. Do you, though? Does he? Does she? Nah. You don't know everything. There's no fucking way you know his background. Does she? Your father?! Ayanokoji's dad? Expulsion of his own accord. He, I, I, he's gonna just expel himself? Who is his, where's his dad? Who is his dad? What is his dad's goals? Is his dad the scientist? Did his dad put his own son willingly into the fucking lab? Who? Susan. Hello. A Susan and Ayanokoji scene while the credits are rolling. Yes. Since like episode. Since, since the lawyer moment, right? Yes. Don't pry into my life. Oh, never mind. You need help. <laughs> never mind. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. We're trying to build you as a leader. We need people to fucking be compelled by you, Horikita. Oh, she's blushing. Grudgingly acknowledge. It's not like I acknowledge as an ally or anything. It's just like you're too fucking clutch. You're the one that thinks him out and I tell buddy, buddy. He just chills by himself. Come on. Mm, are you sure? 
Are you sure? When you say that, when you can't even make eye contact and you're fucking <laughs> blushing. No, come on. It's not like I need you any. Let's see, such as in it. Eh? I believe you, but not you, not Krista. Maybe Koenji. Not anybody. Not anybody. It's just me. Oh, nothing but two. We're finally understanding his actual mentality. The ends justify the means. It doesn't matter. But so far, you've been taking a pretty good path. You haven't been sacrificing some. I mean, him waiting for Susan to fucking get sick was kind of. As long as I win in the end, nothing matters. What are you trying to win, though? What are you trying to win? What are you trying to do? And who is his dad? And that's the episode, as the credits say. You already know what I'm gonna say if you enjoyed this reaction, you stayed this long. Thank you. Classroom of the Elite has been a blast to react to. I didn't realize that so many of you were waiting for, like, this reactions to an anime that came out, like, what, four years ago? But hey, the story has been amazing. Every episode has been a fucking banger. Not enough Koenji scenes, but... And in the previous episode, I said that I was gonna be, like, such a fucking idiot if it wasn't Ayanokochi. And it wasn't. It was Ryuan, and I was mind blown. I'm honestly very impressed by the writing. Like, maybe it's because I'm stupid and everything's relative, so therefore I think that this writing is really amazing. <laughs> maybe, but ignorance is bliss in that way, and I'm therefore I'm enjoying a lot more than some gigachab brain expert that would all... all uh, honestly, who the fuck could have guessed that Ryuan was still on board, right? Everybody was under the fucking guise that Ryuan left. Anyways, enough rambling. I wanted to talk about Aon Koji's dad, right? Because a quick comment is... In a situation where you're in a science lab, usually this is because an orphan is, uh, like, like, the, like the parents like, are really poor and they would, uh, and the science lab would be like, uh, we'll offer you this amount of money for your, to test on your kids or something like that. Or they're usually picked from an orphan. She fucking said his dad is here, right? And so not here, but his dad was the one that, that, that was the man, right? His dad is like alive. Anakoji is not an orphan. His dad is fucking there. So... I can only guess that his dad was part of the fucking, like, science research lab team or whatever, right? During this childhood. I think that's the case. Will we get more of his dad in the future? Are we gonna get Koenji scenes in the next season? I don't know, but only want me to figure it out. And so tune in to season two sometime in July. And with that being said, take care.